everybody. Hi, it's Karen McCullough. I am back with my Lessons from the Road. Um, this time I'm coming home from Boston, Massachusetts. I was up there last week speaking to the American Association of Law Librarians, and it was a great conference. I closed the conference with a, con with a speech on marketing, really how to market you. The law librarians, if you really think about it, these are people that are pivotal. Uh, if you've ever been in a lawsuit, they're pivotal in your success. They're in the behind the scenes doing all of the research, finding all of the cases that really are appropriate that goes along with the case they're studying. And they many times are the people that have actually win the cases. But right now budgets are being cut. And when budgets are cut for many, the first people that are going to go are, you know what, let's, let's cut those law librarians out. We have 12, maybe we only need six. And that's really a mistake because of their pivotal piece and their importance in winning lawsuits. So they brought me in to really talk to them about rethinking their value and how can they market themselves. I'd like you to begin to rethink your value. What is it about you that makes you different? What talents, what skills do you bring to your job every day that really make you valuable and important? For some of us, we have to actually change our conversation. We have to learn to talk about ourselves in a more positive way. In other programs that I've done, I talk about that triangle of how people perceive you. And the bottom of the triangle is first we learn to respect you. So it's coming to work on time, it's appropriate dress, it's being polite and really showing your interest in engagement and work. After respect comes trust. We have to build on that and after we trust you and we respect you, then we value you. So the question that I'm asking you today is, I'd like you to rethink your value. What is it about you that helps you stand out? What is it about you that helps you get noticed? And I'm gonna use as an example, some of the things that I learned about law librarians. I really had to get to the core of what it is about them that differentiates them from other members of the team. So I actually went into their trade show and sat down at a table and I started interviewing them and asking them, what is it about you that brought you into this business? And the first thing that I learned was these are people that love research. They love getting to the bottom of things. They have a curiosity about them. They're like detectives. They also have an element of teaching in them because once they do the research, they have to go back to the attorneys and share with them all of the research that they've learned and maybe even teach them new ways of looking at things. They also have the ability to work with challenging people. If you're a lawyer out there, you're not the one that I'm talking about, but sometimes attorneys have a challenging personality. Well, the law librarians, many of them are also attorneys, have to go back in there and tell maybe their boss or the head of the firm that they can't get that research tomorrow like they need it. It's going to take a couple of weeks. And so they have to really learn how to maneuver these personalities. They also have to have the ability to sort out, to be quick thinkers, and to really work with deadlines. They have to deal with their stress and other stress. Now, this is just an example of what law librarians do. We can go into any field. Where are you? What is it that you do that got you to the job that you have? What skill and talents do you have? And those are some things that maybe we don't learn in school. Those could be your ability to build relationships. Just like the law librarians have a curiosity, they have this, this need to discover and to do research. What is it about you? So when we're rethinking our value, we have to go a little bit deeper. We have to go beyond the obvious because today we want to be attracted to and hire people who know their value and who bring that value into the workplace. I'm Karen McCullough, and I'll see you later with Lessons from the Road.